SQL HC. And if anyone of you is not get familiar about the SQL health, health check report, we have just seen in real like how exactly they looks like and what all sections are of importance, right? And where to start from, right? Uh, OK, the next utility is the Aura Top utilities. Again, is a very common nowadays. Most of us are, you know, well versed and familiar about this Aura Top utility, right? And uh, uh, anyone of you who is not familiar with this Aura Top utility and want to know about it? Because if that's the case, I'll, you know, I'll spend more time. No, no. OK. Need to restart. Just a second, yeah. So this is how the aura top looks like. So I basically use the uh, the extended format to have more information uh, rather than having uh, you know the uh, the close and the compact version of this aura top output. Just give me a second. Huh? OK, I'm sorry, <clears throat> got a call. Are you there, guys? Yes, yes. OK, so this is the primary interface of this Aura Top utility. And on the top, you'll see AAS, AAC. Do you know what is AAS, or average number of active sessions? Sujit? What is number of active sessions? Yes, AAS is average number of active sessions. What is that? I have no idea. OK, all right, so that is something uh, I think you guys should go and you know read about because it's a very important metric. It always available there in uh, any of the AWR or ASH reports right on the top. Like this is basically the number of sessions which are active or doing any work in the databases at any given point of time. Like if we compare right now, it's only not even a single active session there in the DB. So DB is pretty relaxed. It's 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 quite free. It does not have any work to do. So it was only 0 0.3. So this basically provides you more details about you know system statistics, right? And uh, about the load and uh, you know about uh, you know the DCU DCU is basically you know the uh, the host CPU percentage. So uh, in any time if any of these metric turn into red, that means it's consumed or it's it's occupied more than 99%, right? Or basically the, it, this always counts on the basis of average number of active sessions. 
right talking about the load it's it's it pretty universal right so current os or the operating system load that's it and then about the asc is uh, an active session on the cpu how many sessions are active and doing work and consuming cpu cpu cycles right and uh, asi what was asi uh, i think it's for uh, io i guess it's for uh, active session those are waiting on the user io so same way uh, this usd is the uh, user session total mb per second all of us are familiar about it iops uh, iorl is the average synchronous um, you know latency is for a single block basically then logical read per second or lo lio is what we call in physical reads like how many physical reads or disk reads are happening at any given point in time yeah, i mean in real time right and as i told you log log gr this this log gr is what this uh, is basically representing the number of logical reads per second happening in the database i mean how many memory scans are are going on right uh, okay what else uh, i think i should also show you about the interactive options and for example uh, the interface which i told you like this is an uh, you know this is an extended version or extended output of the aura top otherwise if you go and directly call the aura top by passing the slash ssdb a command it will bring you know uh, something like this so this is the compact version right and it's basically provide you not uh, along with historical information it uh, i mean right now it, it basically uh, providing you the historical and the real time information both but if you do not want that and you want only the real time information you have to use the hyphen d option and hyphen f for the format and hyphen f is for the interval right now i'm asking this utility to refresh itself after every 3 second right so now if you see you're not getting historical event information you're only getting real time info correct uh, okay what else uh, but it provides you some table space level information as well so for that you need to type button t on the keyboard and it will provide you the table space information as well like how many table spaces you have its status logging content and its used percentage and all and apart from that uh, asm information is also there yeah let me show that so for to get asm information you need to press this uh, button a so a will provide your present the disk group level information and its state and everything right apart from that there is this another option is s option basically s option if you see now the columns has been changed now you know uh, let me go back So if you see here, these are the columns what we are getting: service, PGA, SQL ID, blocker, operation, elapsed time, state, right, weight class, event, and latch if there are any, right. But if you want to change the mode of Aura Top, and if you want to get more SQL specific details, what you can do, you need to press S. So the moment I pressed S, if you see now the op the column has been changed, right. Now we get SQL ID, SQL text, its execution details, elapsed time, CPU time, IO wait time, total wait time, executions, rows, buffer get discretes, buffer header percentage and contribution to the overall load. OK. And uh, what else? Uh, uh, Now, for example, if you press X and it will ask you to pass the SQL ID, you just need to copy it and paste it over here and it will provide you a quick execution plan for this SQL. So you now you need not to go back to the SQL plus terminal and then, uh, uh, you know, run the DBMS underscore X plan display option. So this will also provide you a basic execution plan for you, though it doesn't have the time related information, but what additional it provides the information is the stale statistics, if the statistics are fresh or not. But if you check this, this operation, this is nothing. This is an aura top uh, called internal SQL. So this is the tool specific. Uh, uh, statement. Application. Uh, 
yeah, there was. Oh my god. Once again, missed it. Okay. This is coming from the application. This is the username and this was fired from the JDBC thin client. So I just uh, provided the SQL ID and here it provides us with the execution plan. With the plan hash value that is in use, the SQL text and everything. And it also provides you information about the, if the statistics are fresh or not. So if you check the statistics on the top of this index called I1 EM underscore address is stale, right? And it also provide you the cost specific information rules and everything. Okay, I think that's 